Hey guys, I'm out here having a ton of fun shooting in the wind, um, doing a video on Mirage and how to make wind calls, and I realized I can't possibly finish that video without doing a prequel to that, which is going to be this. And we're going to talk about aerodynamic jump, because everyone thinks of wind pushing a pellet or a bullet or a slug or whatever you're shooting to the right or to the left, but a lot of folks forget that it also has an up and down effect. That's the aerodynamic jump. The skinny of it is, is that if the wind's coming from the left, it's going to push your projectile down. And if it's coming from the right, it's going to push it up. We're not going to get into the physics of why so much, but a short, easy to understand explanation of why uh, is in order. And then we will get right into how to adjust for it. When we think about wind, we usually think of it like water, like a flowing river. And that's a great way to think about wind in general, as it always changes and moves. But for aerodynamic jump, let's think about wind like a solid wall. So this wall is the wind and my hand is the projectile. Now, as it comes out of a right hand twist barrel, it's going to be rotating towards the right. So here's the projectile rotating towards the right. Here's the wind coming to meet it. And when the two meet, the wind coming from the right and the right, the projectile spinning to the right, they are going to collide and it's going to continue to rotate up against it. And what happens when it's rotating to the right and it's coming from the right? It climbs. Now, if we were to do the exact opposite, we still have that projectile spinning towards the right. And now the wind's coming from the left though. So as we're spinning to the right and the wind meets it and we continue to spin against that resistance, the friction of it causes it to go down. So we're spinning to the right, gets hit by the wall, continues to spin to the right, and down because it's coming from the left. Now, is that the correct scientific explanation? No. But does it work and will you remember it? I hope so. So these are the conditions at Target. It's pretty solid. Nice wind. Should make for some um, interesting shooting. So she's all painted up. Ready to go. All right, this wind is ripping. We're at 150 yards. Um, it's coming from the left, so I'm expecting it to knock the projectile down. So my dope is perfect for 150 yards at this temperature. Um, the only reason it would go low is because of a left wind. Now, it is quartering from behind as well, so that negates some of it, but I do believe that we will see it underneath that level of that bolt. Um, in wind like this, I'd be happy just to be in the vicinity of that bolt. But let's try it and see what happens. I'm going to hold eight and let it go. Oh, perfect wind call. Verify. All right, so we got two on top of each other. But um, I think we got the message that wind from the left causes it to go down and wind from the right causes it to go up. I hope you learned something. Uh, rough filming conditions. I hope the audio came out okay. Thanks for bearing with me. Hope you subscribe and see what we're coming out with next.